Hey y'all mga kabarans, welcome back here in this channel Something good Something good Have a great day mga kabarnarians Again, this is Barney, your HRT queen giving you the hottest transformation Love story, an update, and everything about transgender women and for today's video mga Kabarnians, we have a very special one. It is because we are going to feature a very famous wrestler turns transgender. I know that it is very exciting to hear her story. And again, if you're homophobic and if you don't want about transgender, please consider to skip this video and find a video that you love to watch with. But if you think that this channel is interesting and a very informative one, please consider to be part of this growing family. By clicking the join button below when i first saw this very interesting and beautiful transgender i am very much amazed with her and i really felt that she is one of the bravest and one of the most inspiring transgender that we have in this world as i've said she is a former international wrestler but today she is a famous celebrity fitness instructor but before i forget one thing that's very interesting with her is she is a trans daddy. I know that you are very exciting to meet her as much as I do. So prepare yourself and let us listen to the trans story of a wrestler turns transgender. Watch this. Friday, October 2nd. Wednesday, December 9th. It's January 25th, 2021. Two days before my breast augmentation. Wednesday, uh, the day right before my surgery. April 20th, 2022. Today is Monday, August 22nd. What I'm about to say to this is gonna piss off a lot of people, but here we go. I have no idea why. And this is the hard truth that a lot of people are not going to want to hear because we all create narratives in our heads about why certain things happen in our lives. And I put the puzzle pieces together and I thought I understood why. I thought I had justified it. I thought I understood why. Because as a child, I used to dress up in my mom's clothes until I was about 13 or 14 years old. But I watched my friends who acted feminine get ostracized. I watched them get the crap kicked out of them as children, as young teens. I was raised in the 80s. We didn't have cell phones, we didn't have the internet. There was nowhere for me to go to understand why I felt this way, so I buried it. But why? Why did it resurface at 36 years old? Why did I feel the need, just shy of my 42nd birthday, to begin my transition? Because if I didn't transition, if I couldn't live my life as a woman, I could not go another day in a male body. Did I fail as a male? I don't think so. I was incredibly successful. I was on TV almost every single week. I was in the WWE from 2008 to 2012. I traveled the world. I made good money. I started my own business. I built it from scratch with the last $40 in my pocket, turned it into a seven-figure business. I've been married for 21 years. I am working on a divorce now, but it's post-transition. I have a child. We were all incredibly happy. Why? The question is why, and I don't have an answer. I've pulled away the veil. I've looked. I've searched. Now that I'm farther in my transition, I can objectively look back and go, I have no idea. Am I delusional about what I am now? Absolutely not. I have male DNA. I have the bone structure of a man. I have big hands, big feet. I can't change that. Is my pelvis narrow? Yeah. Does it make my body proportions different? Yeah. All these things, when you put them together, I recognize that. I wasn't born with a uterus. I do not have fallopian tubes. I do not get a monthly period. I do not have symptoms of a monthly period. Do I want answers? Yes. Do I expect you to understand? Absolutely not. Uh, did you just burp? <laughs> this is my 11-year-old daughter, Mia. Everybody's got questions for you. You want to answer some? No. Yeah. <laughs> what grade are you in? I'm in six. What are the fun things that you like to do? Draw, read manga, watch anime, play piano, hang out with my friends, go shopping. You have to tell your friends ahead of time that I'm trans when they come over for the first time? It's not like... Oh, ju just beware of a trans dad. It's, it's not like that. Like, woof, woof, keep her back. <laughs> I'm usually on a leash. Do you have fewer friends because I'm trans? 
No. What about school? Do kids bully you at school because I'm trans? No. What kind of grades do you get in school? Well, my lowest grade right now is 94.25. So you're a 4.0 GPA student right now. What? What is your favorite elective? Quiet. You sing. <laughs> Can you sing something for us? So, 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 do, 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 me, 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 so, 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 fa, me, fa, me, riddle, riddle, ti, so, la, ti, do, do, do. <laughs> what about when people ask you about what I do for work in class when they're like, what does um, your dad do? I guess I say like, my dad's a personal fitness trainer and helps people like lose weight or gain weight. And then they're like, well, that's a little strange for a guy, don't you think? I'm like, well, well my dad's actually a girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone's like. Is it a little weird when you have to do that? Yeah, and everyone's like. <laughs> uh, so some kids do kind of laugh. They're like. They're not shouting him out, so they laugh. And I'm like. Do you lose friends because of that? Mm -mm. Just the standard bullies doing bully things? Do you feel like anything's changed with me? What's what's different Ooh. since my transition started with us? Ooh, a lot. <laughs> a lot. Like what? Uh, well, you really want me to start saying stuff. Your clothing style. Your hair got longer. <laughs> Does my face look different than you remember? Yeah, definitely. Are you sad that I'm not a guy anymore? Sometimes. Early on, you were sad. Not until like the first year was over. And now? Mm, not really. You're just kind of. I'm just, I'm just kind of bad. If you could change one thing about about us, about you and me, what would you change? I'd probably change nothing, except the fact that I need more candy. This right here, this is me, 6'2". I'm currently 210 pounds, no hip pads, no shapewear right now. I have big hands, I have big feet. It isn't about someone else loving you. It's about you loving yourself, but this this right here is what nobody talks about. I have big feet. I have male bone structure. These are things that we cannot change. I'm a trans woman. I wasn't born female. I was born a male. I am something in between. And the longer I transition, the further along in my transition I get, the more I understand I am something in between. And I will always be. We can be deluded about what we are. We can pretend like we don't have male bone structure in our hands. I can pretend like I don't have a size 14 and a half women's foot. Yep, I do. Is it hard to find love? Yes. I spend many nights alone crying myself to sleep because who's going to love someone like me? When I hold a guy's hand half the time, my hands are bigger than his. I worked on cars, I raced motorcycles, I swung a sledgehammer, <laughs> I did all the things that guys do for 42 years of my life. Never wore sunscreen, my hands are shot. Are they soft? Yeah. But do they look like guy hands? Yeah. Is there anything I can do about it? No. I will never have the hips of a woman. Naturally, my pelvis is narrow, it's a male pelvis. Without surgery, I will never have that hourglass figure. I will always have this bone structure. And there is nothing I can do about it. This journey right here for you, it's not going to get easier. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. All of your problems are going to get a hundred times worse. Your emotions are going to get worse. Your ups and downs are going to get worse. The way you view the world is going to change and the way the world views you is going to drastically change. These are things that nobody talks about and you, you must be okay with that and you must understand that it's not an escape and it gets harder. But here's what I can tell you. In the process, I have learned to completely and utterly love who I am on the inside. I love this. I love me. And I'm happy as me. Would I trade this experience I'm having now for anything? Absolutely not. And there you have it, mga Cabernian. She is very inspiring, most especially to those who are having a hard time deciding to be a transgender at a late age. But as we have witnessed, everything is possible as long as you are patient and have a good courage to follow your dreams. And that's it for our trend story for today, mga Cabernians. As always, if you did enjoy this video, consider to like, subscribe, share this video, and don't forget to leave a comment below. 
Have a great day mga kabayans. Thank you so much for your time. And again, in my next video, I hope you are still here. Have a blessed day and see you to the next one. Bye for now. Hi guys, this is Rika and don't forget to subscribe to subscribe to subscribe subscribe and subscribe the subscribe now to Barney Bear's channel. Anakoyan. I love